Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On July 7, 2023, the Ministry of Defense signed a contract with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for procurement of two Tonya aircraft for Indian Coast Guard along with associated engineering support package at an overall cost of Rs 458.87 crore. The aircraft will be fitted with a number of advanced equipment, for example, glass cockpit, maritime patrol radar, which is the most important component of the aircraft, electro-optical infrared device, mission management system, etc. The addition of two donier will further bolster the aerial surveillance capability and maritime areas of responsibilities of the Indian Coast Guard. The Donier Do 228 is a twin turboprop STOL that is short takeoff and landing utility aircraft. It can transport up to 19 passengers and cargo. The aircraft can be used in various missions due to its 10 hour flight endurance, a wide operating range, low operational cost, and varied equipment range. The aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 428 km per hour and a range of 700 km per hour with day and night capability. Indian Air Force presently uses 53 Donier Do 228 as a light weight transport category aircraft, while Navy operates 38 and Indian Coast Guard uses 36 for securing India's coastline, which spans more than 7,000 kilometers. On 13th October 2022, the Donier Do 228 aircraft of Indian Navy made history by performing a night landing at country's only airstrip in Lakshadweep on western seaboard. Owing to short runway length and limited airfield service availability, both civil and military aircraft are operated only during daylight hours. The aircraft has also undergone series of upgrades for various operational roles. It has been protected against major corrosion damage and has a radome beneath the fuselage making it an ideal aircraft for maritime surveillance. The Indian Navy's Donier is fitted with Israeli Elta ELM 2022A Airborne Maritime Surveillance Radar. Now this radar is combat proven with long range airborne multi-mode maritime surveillance with a detection range of nearly 200 nautical miles for small targets. Donier is also equipped with a glass cockpit, advanced surveillance radar, L-INT sensors and networking features used for electronic warfare missions, maritime surveillance, search and rescue, and providing targeting data to weapon platforms. HL has also added some advanced features like FLIR system, ESM technology, speech encryption equipment, enhanced ground proximity warning system, traffic collision avoidance systems, to name a few. In 2016, HL has decided to create a civilian version of Donier, and so was Hindustan 228 launched. So Hindustan 228 is a civilian version of Donier 228. This variant is being brought into to support Uran service scheme and increase local connectivity. The aircraft will make air travel affordable. Small towns and remote places can be reached very easily. In February 2023, HL has finally received the much-awaited clearance from India's Directorate General of Civil Aviation for Hindustan 228-201LW aircraft. The DGCA approved variant has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,695 kg with 19 passengers seating capacity. HL has also approval for 6,200 kg variant with a capacity to carry 19 passengers. The added weight would mean the ability to carry more cargoes. Now there's also one more update related to Hindustan 228 and it's related to its avionics suite. In February 2023, Genesis Aerosystem announced that it has completed certification for its Genesis avionics suite cockpit upgrade for Hindustan 228 aircraft. Now this avionics suite include customizable primary and multifunctional flight displays, flight management, synthetic vision system, highway in the sky flight symbology, 
auto pilot upgrade radios which includes UHF and VHF navigation and communication aircraft radios interfaces which includes all necessary interfaces to get aircraft up and flying and sensors which includes all sensors to get aircraft again up and flying HAL is also developing the amphibian or seaplane variant of Donier Do228 HAL has also collaborated with Zero Avia to develop zero emission aircraft both the firms are working to develop a supplemental type certificate to allow retrofit of existing airframes for both Indian military and worldwide operators. HL and Zero Avia engineers will integrate Zero Avia's ZA600 hydrogen electric powertrain into the Donier 228 airframe. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.